God bless you and greetings to you in the wonderful name of Yah, our Heavenly Father, and Yahusha, our Adon and Savior. Uh, this message today is one I have also posted on my Facebook page and has to deal with the beginning of what is the mark of the beast. Again, I am recording this for posterity or in the case that I am no longer able to get on the net and share, uh, then I want a record of this at least somewhere on the internet or perhaps in people's homes on their own hard drives, however it works out. Yah's going to handle that, not me. So, what is the mark of the beast? What is the beast system? How does it affect me and those who I love and care about? These are questions that are concerning many believers that are paying attention to the end times and some of the information the Bible has to share with those who have eyes to see and ears to hear and a heart that understands. In the book of Revelation, we read in chapter 13, verses 11 through 16, or 11 through 17, I believe it is, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spoke as a dragon. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceives them that dwell on the earth by that means of miracles which he had the power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell upon the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had the power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save that he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Revelation 13, 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that understands count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. First of all, you'll notice um, in reading the scriptures, there are two beasts mentioned. And also, there is a beast system mentioned. So what we are going to have going on here is two different beasts working together within the framework of a beast system. For this article, I would like to address the beast framework system. The beast system is being built and implemented at this time. Already, the tech industry is coming out with more and more advanced technology that, if given to the wrong hands, can lead to enslavement and tyranny to those who live upon the earth. With the governments of the world racing to install technology that tracks everything we do as its citizens, tracks everything we purchase, everything we watch, via the internet, movies, TV, books, and education systems, etc., they are using mind control techniques subliminally without most people noticing it, and the inflammation, uh, imp inflammation, implementation, excuse me, get it right, of 5G networks that can only cause cancer, that not only can cause cancer, excuse me, because of the high frequencies used, but can actually be used to plant suggestions, thoughts into people's minds. One thought might be, take the mark of the beast, so you can purchase things. Maybe. I don't know. Without this mark, people won't be able to go to the doctor, receive medical care or prescriptions, pay their rent or mortgage, make a bank withdrawal, pay the utilities, pay for the groceries, make car payments, purchase and pay for insurance, etc. The infrastructure is being built and implemented now, not waiting for later. 
things are happening quickly and methodically while Christians are going to their megachurches and being taught false doctrines concerning health, wealth, and prosperity, being misled about the end times we are actually living in, the Christian community and everyone else is woefully unprepared for what lies ahead. I, with others, who are awake to the times we are living in, are sounding the alarm to any who will listen, wake up, and help others to become awake and prepare. On the intelligence side of things, President Trump is finishing up his visit with the NATO alliance and meeting with President Putin of Russia. In Europe, they are being told the free lunch provided by the American taxpayer is coming to an end. It's time for the Europeans to pay their own way for their lifestyles and defense without the subsidy of the American taxpayer. In the meeting with President Putin, secrets and hard data was exchanged about highly placed Russian spies within the American government and who they are and how long they have been there. In addition, a new cooperation was agreed upon by the U.S. and Russia. It was agreed that it is time for a new and different approach to world governments and a new world order different from the current model trying to be implemented. President Trump is preoccupied with the problems in the US government in the US government and how to solve them, in addition to daily assassination attempts, and he has paid little to no attention on the very implementation of the beast system in the US and the rest of the world. He simply has too much on his plate to address the thousands of other problems arising. It is my opinion that although he may repair some of the U.S. governmental problems, the B system will continue to arise until President Trump is no longer in office and the next administration placed in charge will have all of or at least a substantial part of the beast infrastructure awaiting their control. In other words, he is allowing the B system to be built and implemented under his watch. Monsanto, chemtrails, man rampant food and water and air poisoning, poisoned vaccinations, introduction of epidemics to the air, water, and food supplies continues unabated for the most part. Free speech in public as well as on the internet is being attacked and attempted to be shut down. We as people are literally being poisoned to death via the bees system implementation. I'm not trying to be critical of President Trump, just stating the obvious facts occurring on his watch. President Trump is just a man, not our Messiah. We shouldn't expect him to be so. We have one Messiah, Yahushua, or Jesus, and he alone can deliver us to salvation. What are we to do? accept Yahushua, Jesus Christ, into our lives, accept his free gift of salvation, follow and serve him and be obedient to his direction, prepare and warn others to what lies ahead and how to deal with it. So until next time, Brother Ed. So that's what I would like to share with you today. Um, more YouTube videos to follow in addition to articles. I've been uh, extremely busy. Uh, very challenged in some areas, uh, but I'm working through them. So with Yah's help and Yusha's blessing and his assistance in intercession and help, then I'll get through all this stuff and uh, we will continue to post articles. Uh, and I've got a website that's mostly functional and Facebook, etc. I'll try to get messages and the word out as best I can. Now, until next time, I love you. Y'all bless you. You are the best. Amen.